What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to be talking about another security camera. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I've gone through and reviewed a lot of security cameras. Uh, if you haven't, I'll link a lot of those in the description below so you can check those out yourself. But if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you're not, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Argus 2 from Reolink. Uh, we also have their solar panel for charging. So this is a completely battery operated wireless camera. So that way, like in today's age, it's difficult to put a camera outside, even if it's wire wireless, what they call wireless, which is Wi-Fi operated, uh, you still have to have power somehow. So this one just has a battery power. And then they also have a solar panel that they can hook up to it. So that way you don't have to keep taking this down and charging the battery itself every time you need, every time the battery dies. Uh, so that's really great. They do sell the kit. They sell them separate as well, but they do sell the kit. Uh, these two, just one camera and one solar panel for, I think it's 120 bucks. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, right now, I actually think it's 120 bucks with a $15 coupon. So almost a hundred bucks. Uh, that's a pretty damn good price for a completely wireless camera with a solar panel. So let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. I wanna look at what's in the box, what comes in the box for both the security camera itself, as well as I wanna see what's inside this, well, not inside, but what's in the box for the solar panel. I also wanna kinda of get the app set up. I have the app set up from a previous uh, real link camera I set up, but I also wanna get this camera added to it. So we'll show you how that works and kind of the features of the actual app itself. And also just like any other security camera review I do, I also do uh, the audio quality from the actual camera itself, as well as daytime uh, video recording quality and nighttime vision or night vision, uh, just to see what the actual quality you're gonna get out of the actual camera itself. So that way you can decide if it's something you're wanting to purchase or not. So let's go ahead and check and see what you get in the box. So what I wanna do is I wanna check out the camera itself first. Let's go ahead and see first, this is a 100% wire-free camera, solar panel or solar powered or powered by 3.6 uh, volt rechargeable battery, uh, starlight night vision, 1080p full HD camera, IP65 weatherproof rating. Um, so, I mean, it can't handle being soaked into water all for longer. I don't know, IP65, I think you can, I think you can actually soak it within like a meter or something like that. But uh, if it's on your house or something like that, you're not gonna be soaking it anyways, other than getting rained on. It does have a smart PIR sensor, and then also lists everything else in different languages. And then it also shows here that it works with the Reolink cloud. So on this side, it does show that it, Reolink does have a, an app from the Apple Store for Apple, for your iPhone, as well as a Google Play Store app for your Android device. So it covers both devices. So this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get it in the light. It's kind of like a matte black on black. What you get on the top, it says be prepared, be real link. So this comes with your quick start guide here. And actually it's a pretty thick quick start guide, but I think it's because it's in multiple languages. They also have a real link 24 hour surveillance sticker that you can put on your window or your door. And then they also have templates. It looks like one is for maybe, oh, okay, I see. One is for, it looks like they have an outdoor housing, and then there's one for the camera itself without the housing itself. So I'll show you what the feet look like, but they got templates so you can mount it to the house or mount it to uh, something solid. All right, so you have the actual battery itself here. So what's nice is you don't actually have to take the camera itself down to charge it. You just take down the battery itself, and then you can charge it via micro USB. So you have the camera itself here, which is actually a smaller sized camera, which is really nice because when you got it on your house, it's not going to actually uh, protrude out from the house very much. And it's going to be really small. So that way you, it's going to be harder to see on the house. And so if someone's checking out for cameras, it's not going to be some large camera sticking out of their house. So you got this large, I believe this is a PIR, PIR sensor right here. So this is going to be able to, what I'm hoping is that this camera is going to show really good nighttime or starlight vision, what they call it, nighttime vision. Um, hopefully it can show that really, really well. And then also it looks like you got a speaker down here, maybe a microphone as well. And then you got the camera itself right here. And then on the side, so one thing to note is you can record onto their cloud or you can record onto a micro SD card. Um, so that's nice. You can record on a micro SD card. Um, the only problem with that is if someone steals your camera, they're going to also steal your micro SD card as well. I'm here to say I, I've had um, wireless cameras outside of my house for probably about 
two year, two to two and a half years now, and they're on a magnetic like stand. Um, and so I, no one's actually came by and stolen them from me. Um, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh, this thing doesn't really stick in very well. Oh, you got to put it in the little, you got to put it in the hole here. There we go. All right. So it also has a little uh, pad here, so that way you can mount it to, or just have it sitting on something. As well as you got their two uh, mounting screws here, if you wanted to mount it to a to uh, if you wanted to mount it to the wall or something like that. So they also give you a mount here, another mount, so that way you can actually mount it uh, at the bottom. This will unscrew, and then this will screw into it, so you can actually mount it in a certain way if you wanted to, or mount it onto well, mount it almost looks like up and down if you wanted to. So if you're mounting it on a vertical wall, you'll be able to use this to mount it. Then they give you screws and a reset pen and wall anchors or drywall anchors so that way you can mount it. You have your micro USB to USB-A uh, charging cable. Looks like you got some kind of uh, cord to maybe keep it uh, held into place if it needs to be. I'm not really sure what this is for actually. I think it's to hold the actual camera itself. So that way, if someone were to try to take it or something like that, it might hold it in place. We might find out what this is for later. I'm not really 100% sure what it's for. So here, so here you have the actual rubber cover. Um, I will check to see if you need this and I'll put it on the video itself, but I'll put it on the video to see if you actually need this to make it waterproof or IP65 waterproof. But I'm not 100% sure you actually need that, but you may. So the only reason why I'm thinking that you may need it, you may not need it, is it's got these uh, rubber seals already. Oh, see, it's already wanting, I'm gonna put the battery in, and it's already wanting to go. So we'll open up the Real Link app, and what's gonna do is have me scan the QR code that's on the back of this, and then it's gonna want this to scan the QR code on my phone. But first, let's go ahead and open up the solar panel, and then we'll get this set up. All right, so the actual solar panel has uh, another quick start guide and another sticker for 24 hour, hour video surveillance and then a, another template for mounting. Then here's the actual solar panel. So this one's actually different. So it's got the screw hole here. It's like probably a quarter inch. And then you got the micro USB power plug right here. So that is actually one thing that, let me see the camera here. So yeah, that leads me to believe that, oh no, you can plug in the, looks like you can rip this open and plug in through here. Um, so it leads me to believe this is this cover is actually not gonna it's gonna help on the actual camera itself, but it's not. I don't think it's required for a water full waterproof because if you open this up, you're gonna get a lot of water through in the backside. So I don't think they're gonna. I think they got that covered. But either way, so you got the actual connector right here and the little rubber seal right here. One thing to note: this is kind of like a rough texture, so that's different for a solar panel that I've seen. Then you've got the actual mount itself here. So this mount screws into here, and then you're able to twist this and kind of angle it the way you want it. And then you're good to go. And then it's got the mounting screws on the bottom here, so that way you can mount this anywhere you want near the camera. And it looks like you got quite a bit of cord here, so you can actually mount this, this camera somewhere and then also mount this um, a little bit further away if you wanted to. So in the Rio Link app, we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus button. And then we're gonna scan the QR code. Uh, Wi-Fi is already configured for me because I already configured an account or a camera already. Um, Please run Rio Link app, add the camera and set it up. Well, Let's see here. Nope, apparently not. So we can do Wi-Fi not configured. Heard the voice prompt. Go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password in here. And then it wants me to scan the actual QR code on my phone. Scan succeeded. Camera is connecting to your router. Please wait. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome to Rio Link. All right. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome so we're good there now. I'm not starting to initialize. And we're going to create a login password. All right. So here's the app. It's actually live streaming right now. So 
it's telling me that I can actually swipe to preview modes. I can actually turn on the volume sound, take a picture of it, of whatever I'm viewing here, take video of recording. Um, I can also see more on here. And then it, right now it looks like we're at low format. So I would probably want to go to 1080p here. So we'll go high or high uh, quality here. So look at the quality of it on here already. I'm actually eager to get this outside and see what the quality is outside. So we can do the siren if we wanted to. And then we can also set up other settings um, if we wanted to. Like they have uh, more device information here. It tells me how the battery, it tells me my Wi-Fi network, it tells me the battery, uh, like it's at 56% right now. Turn on push notifications. Uh, PR, PIR sensor mode, you can tell the sensitivity, set a schedule to it, turn it on and off. You can do email alerts. I can share the camera, which is really nice. So I can share this camera to my wife or um, family member, or whatever I decide if I want to do that. So I can also push to talk. So I can actually talk on my phone to whoever is next to the device. So if this is my backyard and say my, uh, my Wi-Fi is pretty far away, but, but say I, uh, I want to talk to my daughter, it's outside playing, I can actually talk to her if I wanted to. Um, it's not connecting to my home camera because I don't have actually have it plugged in. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the actual quality of the video at nighttime. Right now it's nighttime. And then I want to do a daytime tomorrow and get this uploaded for you guys. So here is actual dark outside. And the audio you're going to see or hear when the camera itself uh, goes so much nearby, you can actually hear them talking. And this is the quality. I'm actually talking normal uh, like sound level to you. So now you've seen the actual footage of daytime and nighttime and see the quality of the audio as well as the actual video. Um, so you'll, I'll let you decide if it's something that you're interested in buying. Um, I will say from all the stuff that I've reviewed camera wise, uh, it ranks up there with the other battery operated or the only battery operated cameras that I've actually tried out. As far as battery life, I'm not sure what it'd actually be on these um, compared to the other uh, competitors. But the other competitors do say that uh, one says two years, one says one year um, battery life. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, it's not, I mean, could it last that long? Yeah, it can probably last that long. But I'm going to tell you right now, normal use, it's not going to last that long. So how long does the battery last on this if you don't have anything charging it? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm willing to say it's probably pretty close to most, like at least one of them, so probably a few months. It just depends on how many emotional learns that it actually finds and actually picks up. So take that as a grain of salt, but for $100, you're gonna get a solar panel as well. So you don't have to really worry about that if you, if you buy them as a pack. Now you can buy the camera by itself, uh, but with the solar panel and the camera, right now it's $120 and $15 coupon, so it's almost $100. It's cheaper than any other camera set that you can buy right now for battery operated only. And they don't even come with the solar panel. So take that as it be. Um, but you see yourself, the quality of the camera is actually pretty damn good. I think it is. Uh, if you don't think it is, that's fine. I mean, it's up to you. But I really do think the quality is pretty good. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, we talked about magnetic uh, mounts. I realized this is on its own magnetic mount. So this is the one of the mounts that it actually comes with. So it is magnetic. The other one is screw in, so it screws in at the bottom. Uh, but this is magnetic, so this one. And uh, so you can actually use this pretty easily. That is what this is for. So this little tether is to tether the actual camera itself to the mount. So that way if someone were to throw a rock at it or whatever, it wouldn't just fall down. Or maybe wind, high wind. I mean, we just had a storm rip through here last night and the high wind, probably about 40 to 50 mile an hour wind and my cameras that I have up there now with the same strength as far as magnetic mount and they're still up there. They didn't move. So I wouldn't really worry about the wind blowing it down unless it's a tornado. And if you got a tornado that close, you got another problem, right? But either way, they have a tether that you can hold it on. So that way if it does come off, it'll, 
it'll stay up there. Another thing is I found out what the strap's for. The strap is for so you can strap it to like a tree or a branch and then you can strap, strap the actual camera to it. So it's a mount, it's another mount that they provide to you. So that's cool that this thing provides two different mounts, well, three different mounts. Other cameras don't, you gotta buy them separate. So that's nice that Reallink does that. And then one last thing I wanted to talk about is the rubber boot that actually they provide you. Um, I did read in the actual uh, quick start guide, it helps extend the waterproofing. It makes it better um, if you have it on here. Now they didn't say you had to have it on here to make the waterproofing work. So that means this camera is waterproof without the boot, but they said it does improve the waterproofing. Yeah, it does improve the waterproofing. So that's, I mean, it also has that sunshade on there. So that helps out if you're in a sunny area. So if you put your camera in an area where the sun is shining down on it, it helps out there. So and you can either use it or you don't. It's up to you. They provide it. You don't need to buy it extra. So uh, that's really neat. But like I said, the camera itself and with the actual solar panel is $120. Right now it's got or a $15 coupon, I think it is. So about $100. I'll put the product in the description below so you can uh, check out the link yourself and see what the current pricing is. And as well as I'll put the camera itself, like by itself in there. Mm -hmm. So you can check out the actual just camera price. Um, if it's easy to get to, you don't need the solar panel, but if it's up there, if you have to, if you have to get a ladder, to charge it, then I can see why you'd want to do a solar panel. So you have to get the ladder out and go up there and change it, change or charge the battery. But I'll link all that in the description below so you can check it out yourself. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing if you like the content. If you're back again, thanks for coming back. And if you like the video, hit the like button. Any comments, questions, or opinions you want to put about the camera system, put it in the comments section below and I'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, if any questions you have about it, I'll try to answer the best I can. If not, the community will help you as well. Other than that, I'll see you next time.